Say we want to develop a new GNOME application, so we always start from the icon. From the icon preview app, we're going to create a new icon, and name it ha.ho.theapp. And export to home directory maybe. Create, and close this. Now we have this SVG which basically is an empty placeholder, and next we're opening Figma for actually design our icon. Create a new file here. But next if we open the file picker to import our SVG, from our home directory, we'll see we don't have any file access. So we gonna close this for now, and open flat seal, that has a toilet paper icon? From flat seal we'll search for Figma. And then we'll scroll a bit down till we find the file system permissions. And most probably we need to enable access to home directory? Close this, and let's go back to Figma to see if it worked. Not to mention, at this point you should feel agony and suspense. Open the file picker again. And go to home. And now we have full access to our files. Yay! And we can open it from here already, but instead let's go for something far more dangerous. And pretty please, don't try this at home. So permissions and import now worked or almost works some way, because our template didn't open correctly. Second to open it on Inkscape to see what's happening, but in any case I think that all this workflow is very unproductive for developers. It would be much faster if we had all necessary GNOME assets directly from Figma templates and plugins. And so Chino, please do your new thing maybe?